Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby and today I'm going to be filming my 2018 end of the year reading survey. This is one of my favorite videos to film at the end of the year because I feel like it gives you such a wide range of some of my favorite and least favorite things of the year and I just think it's a really great video to do. So, <laughs> Alright, so the first one is how many books did you read this year? So at the moment I've read 105 books. There are still a few days left of the year, like about a week left, so I might read one or two maybe in the next week but we'll see for now. It's 105. You'll have my final answer in my 2018 stats end of the year video. <laughs> the next question is most read genre. My most read genres are romances and thrillers which, you know, is anybody surprised? Probably not. The next one is longest and shortest books that you read this year. The longest book I read this year was A Little Life at 815 pages. She pretty thick. And the shortest book I read this year, I actually have unhauled already and it's called All of Our Wild Wonder and it's a poetry collection. It was only like, I want to say it was less than 100 pages. All right, the next question says, favorite book published in 2018? And so for that one, I do have two answers, but they both start with V, so that's pretty cool. And that is Vengeful by V.E. Schwab and Verity by Colleen Hoover. These are my favorite books that were published this year. And the next one says, favorite debut novel? of 2018. Easily The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. I just think that this book was one of the most adorable romances ever and I can't believe this was a debut. Like I can't wait to read everything that this author writes in the future. I know she has another book coming out in like January I want to say so can't wait to pick that one up too. All right, the next one says favorite book not published in 2018 but that you read for the first time in 2018. I'm gonna have to go with my top two favorite books of the year that weren't actually published in 2018 and that is The Humans and A Little Life. The Humans was published in 2013 and A Little Life was published in 2015. The next question says a book that lived up to the hype. Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty because I read this for the first time this year and this book has been getting hyped a ton over these last couple years and it definitely lives up to that hype. And the next question is a book that did not live up to the hype. <laughs> now, I have an entire video about my most disappointing books of the year that did not live up to their hype but uh, my answer to this question would be The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt and The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn. These books receive a ton a ton a ton of hype and I really 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 don't understand it. The next one is a book that felt like the biggest accomplishment. For that, I'm also going to have to go with A Little Life because not only because of the length of this book, but also because this book was so depressing and it's probably the most depressing book I've ever read in my life. So to finally get through this book and get to the end and just be done with it, I felt like it was such an accomplishment because at times I was like, wow, like I don't even know if I can pick this book up again. Like it's so sad. And the next question says favorite character that you read in 2018. So I'm just gonna keep holding this book up for the majority of this video. Willem and Jude are my favorite characters that I read about in 2018. I just fucking love them so much and like Jude is the main character of this story and then Willem is his closest friend out of his group of four friends that the story follows but Willem is just the softest baby angel. He's so patient and understanding and just one of my favorite characters I've ever read. So I just really love Willem and Jude. They were definitely my faves in 2018. <laughs> and the next one says least favorite character that you read about in 2018. And that would have to go to Steven slash Stefan slash whatever his name is in Tell Me Lies. I mean, really like both of these characters, Lucy and Steven, but definitely Steven in Tell Me Lies. This was my worst book of the year. I just, I, I can't. The next one says most shocking book slash moment. Pretty much the entire book of The Cabin at the End of the World, but especially that one scene. If you know, if you've read this book, you probably know which scene I'm referring to, but like that one scene where my heart just like stopped and I was just like, what the fuck? Like this whole book was extremely shocking. Just freaking crazy. It was crazy. The next question says favorite couple slash OTP. And for that, I'm going to have to go with Pike and Jordan from Birthday Girl. They are just like my favorite. I just really, really adore them as a couple and like they will forever be OTP. The next one is the best written book that you've read this year. And for that, I'm also going to have to go with A Little Life. <laughs> and I know that I just like keep holding up this book, but guys, 
seriously. I'll put a link in the description for my book talk for this book, but I think this is one of the best written books I've ever read because some of these passages and quotes have stayed with me for so long and like made me think about things that I never really think about and just like, like I have highlights and markings and dog ears on almost every single page of this 800 page book. It's just one of the best written books. It's like, it reads like literary fiction because this one is more literary fiction. And you know literary fiction are some of the best written books out there okay it's just beautiful the next question says the book that you pushed the most people to read in 2018 and for that it's gotta be the seven husbands of evelyn hugo by taylor jenkins reed because even though i didn't read this book this year this was my number one favorite book of 2017 all of this year i was pushing this book on everyone i got my mom to read it which was really great and she really loved it i got my cousin's girlfriend to read it which was really great and she really loved it <laughs> and i got a couple different people online to read it or at least say they read it because i recommended it and it's just really great because this book is really great and i really want to reread this in 2019 because it is one of my favorite books ever so i'm really happy that i got so many people to read this book <sighs> the next question says favorite book cover of the year. This one it was really hard for me to just choose one. I chose four, okay? Two of them are books that I have read and two of them are books that I have not read that were all published in 2018. So the first two for books that I have read that are my favorite covers is The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna and She Regrets Nothing by Andrea Dunlop. The Great Alone, I absolutely love this like color strip that's coming down this road right here and this color of like the mountains. Like, dude, I don't know what it is about this cover, but I freaking love it. Like it's absolutely beautiful to look at. And my other favorite cover, She Regrets Nothing. I love the like city in the background, but it's like washed out in pink. And then two of my other favorite covers this year that I haven't actually read these books yet is An Ocean of Minutes and The Heartbreaker. It's, like beautiful as shit. It's like a rainbow. I don't know. I just really love this like color and the way it just like all the colors just bleed into each other and the spine. Oh, this book is just gorgeous. And then this one is probably my number one favorite cover of 2018 because this is like giving me some like 80s vibes because I know this, this book does take place in the 80s. But like for real though, this cover is so beautiful. I love these colors and the way it just like fades into like this teal. Like I love the purple and then the teal and the like... <sighs> The silhouette of this car. Alright, the next question is favorite adaptation. This, I also have three different answers. The first one's gonna be Ready Player One. I read this book this year and I really, really, really loved the movie adaptation of this. Next one is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. This is not a book that I read this year, but the movie was so, so cute and so much better than the book in my opinion. Like, it was just so much fun and I loved this movie so much. The last one is a recent one and that's Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. This movie adaptation was so true to the book and it was so fun to watch and even though I do think the book is still better, it was a really solid adaptation so Woo. The next question is what book made you cry? So once again, um, A Little Life is one of the most depressing books I've ever read and I was crying so much at one point that I had to put this book down and I wasn't sure if I could finish it because my stomach was like, ugh. And the next one says what book made you laugh? And for that, I'm gonna go with The Humans. Like there's a reason why this book is my number one favorite book of the year and it's because this book made me laugh out loud so many times. It's just like, one of the funniest books I've ever read. The next question is a new favorite author that you read for the first time in 2018, I guess. And I'm gonna have to go with Lisa Jewell because I read three Lisa Jewell books this year and I absolutely loved all of them. Mm -hmm.